Hey guys, welcome back. This one's aimed at helping out current owners as well as potential owners. So what we're going to be looking at is a way to deal with the SOS warning light, a certain workaround that you can use to make your life a little bit easier. Before we get started, let me just first off again thank you guys for basically being so supportive and collaborative. It really is, I know I go on about it a lot, but it really is a bit of a uh, community of owners really so a3 owners s3 owners this video would not have been possible without you guys so make sure you give this one a fat thumbs up it's not just for me but it's also for every one of you that helped make this video possible those of you that are new here and probably wondering what the hell am I talking about if you're interested in the Audi a3 and the s3 8y generation hit that subscribe button we've got the most content across YouTube covering the car all different aspects Help us reach the 1,000 subscriber mark and I promise you interesting things are coming. In fact, if this video gets to 100 likes, last time you got to 50 in a couple of hours, so let's up the ante a little bit. I will put together a trailer. I know I've been going on about what's coming once we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'll put together a short trailer, show you guys what's coming. Let's just bring everyone up to speed. What is the SOS warning light? So it's actually a problem that's consistent across lots of different Audis, not just the A3 and the 8Y generation. In fact, I even found a post on the Lamborghini Urus forum. Now, what happens is if it loses signal, a warning light will flash up on the screen and basically say SOS malfunction, please contact workshop. That's not too much of an issue if the warning light went away. What I've found is it can sometimes go off just by turning the car off and on, but more likely than not, what will end up happening is the warning light stays this. What's even more annoying is for certain users, it basically locks them out of the MMO. So if they were using the sat nav, it'll kick them out and they're not able to log back into the sat nav. So what the video will show you is how you can get around that, get rid of the warning light. So you're in a position where you can get to use your car again, as you, as you would expect. Up here, you've got a little SOS latch. Press that, and then you've got a little red button. It looks really scary, it's actually not. Just keep hold of it. What will happen is when you keep hold of it for, let's just say 30 to 60 seconds, the warning light will disappear. You might then get a message on the MMI saying logging emergency call. Just press cancel on that. So I'm keeping hold of it. Let's see how long this takes. Depending how long it is, I might just write at the bottom how long it roughly took and just speed the video up. An emergency call has been triggered. There you go. The call. So just press, press cancel. The emergency call has been manually cancelled. And there you go, automatically it's disappeared, no more warning light. And that's it. That's as simple as it is, guys. Now what I'll do, you might be wondering, what happens if you don't cancel that emergency call? Well, the last time I videoed this, that's exactly what happened. And here's a fun clip for you guys. Don't worry about it, even if it does connect. There's something you can tell them, and we'll play that now. Emergency call. Right, so what will happen is the car will try and make an emergency call. Just hit cancel. I missed that because obviously we turned the camera off. So it's trying to connect something. Let's see. Audi Emergency Center, how can I help you? Hi, uh, sorry, my car's just being stupid. It's brand new and it keeps having these SOS faults. It wasn't supposed to come. Oh, through. okay. So yes, I understand. Maybe it's a failure in the system. Okay, I will try to terminate the car. Thank you. All right, perfect. No worries, bye. Right, so basically the trick is you're supposed to hit cancel before that happens, but you just saw guys, if it does happen, just tell them that your car's shit. <laughs> Funny, right? Did you pay attention to what the SOS lady or the operator responded? Oh, it must be a fault in the line, sir. Tells you how common this must be, right? But hope you found this useful, guys. Remember, give it a fat thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Help us reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you again for being such an engaging audience. Catch you in the next one, guys.